These are the Bunbury Regional Art Gallery. And before the building looked like this, it looked like this. Back in 1862, the only building located at the site of the current Bunbury Regional Art Gallery was a two-room cottage and the first chapel built in Bunbury. Then in 1883, three Sisters of Mercy arrived in Bunbury on a cold and blustery day. Sister Mary Placida, Sister Mary Gonzaga and Sister Mary Augustine set up and taught the children in the local Bunbury area in a long, narrow room where the present chapel now stands which was built in 1923. In 1897, Bunbury Convent separated from the Victorian Square community and in the same year a fine new convent dedicated to St. Patrick was planned and built. The convent consisted of 21 bedrooms, two large dormitories, a large kitchen, dining room and reception room. Then in 1898, Mother M. Angela Costella was named the first superior. Her assistant and four other sisters from Victoria Square were well respected for their music education program and as a result in 1918 they built music practice rooms along Princep Street behind the convent. The following year St. Joseph's Hall was built on Wellington Street and became the main school. The hall and music rooms were later demolished in 1981 by the Bunbury City Council after they purchased the property. Due to an ever-increasing number in students, St. Joseph's School was erected in 1929 on the corner of Wellington and Whitney Street as a day and boarding school for girls. Despite many protests, the school was later demolished in 1982 and stood where the current car park is now situated. Today, the old convent is an iconic landmark distinguished by its Victorian Gothic style with its earthy pink colour and is now known as the Bunbury Regional Art Gallery. The Bunbury Regional Art Gallery was fully renovated and officially opened in February 1987. The gallery now home Bunbury's art and craft collection instead of nuns and students but its link to education can still be experienced today and the number of services offered to schools and students. From providing students opportunities to exhibit their artworks in the galleries through initiatives including the iLuca Visions and the Bragg Wall Program, to providing children and adults alike the opportunity to attend specialist art classes and professional development sessions, to interesting guided school tours of the gallery spaces and various exhibitions, the galleries even provide work experience and internship opportunities. For a more comprehensive list of what's on offer, visit the gallery's official website at www.brag.org.au and take advantage of this interesting and historical research.